Hi, and welcome to another free teaching Thursday. This is when I jump into this Facebook group live um, and I give you some free training or some free teaching. For the next couple weeks, I'm going to be going inside one of the Bible study workbooks that I've created and show you exactly the process I go through um, to dig deeper into scripture. These workbooks were created so that you do one day every day of the week or sometimes five to six days in a seven day week but instead we're going to take it slow and we're going to do one day per week for the next couple weeks it's just a really good way to help you dig into god's word and to see how simple it can be just to take a few minutes every day and answer some questions and just learn more and be encouraged so the workbook that we're going to be going through is this one. It's called Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. It is free for you right now to use. So if you don't have your copy, you can click in the link in the description or in the link in the comments. Sign up for this workbook. It'll come straight to your inbox, print it off and join me as we go through it together. So are you ready? Let's jump in. Make sure to scan this QR code to grab your free workbook so that you can follow along. So today we're sharing day one. And you see up here it says, read Isaiah chapter seven, verse 14, and Matthew chapter one, verse 23. So I'm going to start with Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. If you have your Bibles with you, you can join me along. And my Bible says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now you can turn to Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. And for some context, I'm going to start reading at verse 22, and it says, So all this was done, that I might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. The first question says, What is the sign that the Lord will give? So we can actually find that in Isaiah chapter 7. And the sign is, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And what name will be used to call that child? And so what events are being foretold? So this is a prophecy. And that is going to be that Jesus is going to be born by a virgin. And we'll call him Emmanuel. Okay, and then what does Emmanuel mean? So we get that from Matthew chapter 1, and it means God with us. So as you see here, these first couple questions are just really, really simple. It doesn't get you to think too much, but just to make sure that you've actually read the passage. And now to get deeper, we go on to the next page. It says, who is this child? So they're talking about Jesus. And why is the virgin birth so important? So you're not going to find that in scripture. There's not going to be a verse that says this is the reason why it was important. Okay, But from the two verses, we can at least think of one for sure. And one, that it's fulfilling a prophecy. The other reason why this virgin birth is really important is because Mary um, conceived through the Holy Spirit, which was Jesus. If she wasn't a virgin, then anybody could say, well, no, that could not have been the Holy Spirit. It had, would have have been her husband or this other man or somebody else. There'd be a very big flaw in this plan. So it proves that, you know, Jesus is God because there's no other way. If she wasn't a virgin, people could poke holes. So see, I have really big writing, so you can read it, but you can make it small. Um, you can use all the things and also at the back. What would change if Mary wasn't a virgin? So just the the miracle, right, of the virgin birth? 
the credibility of the story. Um, and then it would change, like, Jesus' parentage. Because if Jesus wasn't born through the Holy Spirit, then somebody else would have had to be his father. And if somebody else was his father, then Jesus himself would not be God. And so that point's really important. Because like I said, any other plan, it'd be too easy to poke holes into, right? If she was already married, if she was older, um, if people had known that she had been with somebody else, like whatever the reason was, there would be just so many other theories to this birth. And even with Mary being a virgin, people can still say, well, you know, how do we know she wasn't with anybody else? The virgin birth just gives so much more credibility to Jesus and who he is um, because it was through the Holy Spirit and not through some other man. And so this virgin piece is the credibility of who Jesus is, that his father had to be somebody else than Joseph because she was a virgin when she was born. And so it's really a critical piece here that we, we know that she was a virgin and that's just one way we can prove that Jesus is God because who else could be the father? And then how does this child fulfill the promise of God being with us? So we know that Jesus is God because we have God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And there are verses that tells us that I, Jesus speaking, and the Father are one. I can't think of the reference right now, but this verse confirms that Jesus is God, that Jesus the Son and Jesus the Father are the same person. And so by sending Jesus on earth, it tells us that God is here with us because they're the same person. I hope you see that and I hope that makes sense to you. So I only have eight questions for today, but one of the things I like to do is what's something that sticks out to you? After you've done this, I want you to think of one thing that really you either learned or that stuck out to you. And for me today, it was this virgin piece and why it was so important. That's not new information. I already knew that going in, but today it really stuck out for me in my brain. And so that's probably something I'll be going through in my mind for a couple days. It's just thinking about this miracle, the importance of it, and what it proves for us in our faith. So in the comments, I would love for you to tell me what stuck out to you today. Maybe you've learned something. Maybe a verse just got a new perspective for you. Maybe something really just jumped off the page and stuck in your mind. Or maybe a word is just being repeated in your brain. And so whatever that is, I'd love for you to share in the group in the comments below. Um, and I can't wait to see your answers. So, Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week when we look at day two. A quick Bible study tip for you. Highlight words you don't know or ones you're not sure of their meaning. Then use a Bible dictionary to find the meaning. This is really important because when we read scripture, we think we understand a word, but then when we see a Bible dictionary and the Hebrew or Greek meaning behind it, it can change the meaning of the word or just get a really new perspective. For example, in the English language, there's only one word for love. The Greek or the Hebrew, there's four different words for love. So that's why we want to completely understand that scripture was written in a different language. And sometimes in the translation, something's a little bit lost. So we will always want to go back to a Bible dictionary to see the true meaning behind a specific word. If you want to take this farther, you can then look up the word in a regular dictionary and compare the meanings. Um, and this is just a really great way to get just a deeper understanding of what scripture is actually saying. If you'd enjoyed this Bible study workbook, then I invite you to join the Christian Growth Hub. It is a growing online membership for Christian women who want to grow in their faith with the support and resources they need without adding to your to-do list or feeling overwhelmed. 
So when you join the Christian Growth Hub, you get access to weekly Bible study workbooks, training on how to read the Bible, how to study the Bible, and how to apply it to your life. Not only that, but you get access to the Christian Growth Hub Facebook group where you can connect with other Christian women who have the same desire as you, ask for prayer requests, get some training, and just connect with me and other members. So join us today. Go ahead and scan the QR code, and I can't wait to see you inside.